What's up YouTube, Matt Beck here from freesaloneducation.com. Uh, wanted to give you guys a little bit different video today. This one um, is really about um, my career journey. I don't know where you're at in your career, how you're feeling, if you're feeling like things are going the way that you want them to go, or maybe you wish it was a little bit different. What I hope this video helps you with is that sometimes the way that you think things should go are not actually the way that they should go, uh, and then you're better off for it in the end. Uh, and that's kind of how my story has worked out or it's been playing out. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this video, uh, and here it is. No, no, that's a good, I love it. Yeah, no, that's good. So here's, let me expand on my 10 year story. 10 years working for Paul Mitchell, right? All I wanted, like I kind of said, is to be on a Paul Mitchell DVD. Paul Mitchell didn't put me on a DVD in Las Vegas at the Paul Mitchell like educator thing where they had an award ceremony. And in that award ceremony, uh, John Paul, the owner of the company. I had the opportunity this morning of giving a very special leadership award it's a very special honor. We don't normally do this. He starts talking about this guy who always shows up. But this is to a, a young man that we're doing something and he happens to be there and he just shows up and says, hi, I'm here to lend a helping hand. Wow, thank you, that's very kind. There's some people who want to know a little bit more about how to run a salon properly. I'll spend a few minutes with you. Nothing, nothing would please me more. There's an event we don't even know he's coming. He shows up and says, I just want to be here to lend a helping hand. He's great when it comes to helping sponsor new talent in our educational programs and just in the overall industry. People that can excel. He likes to sponsor, he likes to mentor them. A true achiever. Also, he's leading the local educational team for his distributor and everyone involved with him says, this is one of the best educators. A guy that could not give you enough. He keeps giving, giving, and giving. He is definitely a leader. He's extraordinary. He was born to be extraordinary. And please join me in welcoming this brilliant fellow for our first time leadership award. And that's Mr. Matt Beck. When I walked up to the stage and I was like, this is it. I'm gonna be on a DVD. This is my life. This is what I worked for. They gave me an iPad as a prize. It had my name engraved on the back. And uh, I went home and I thought, Paul Mitchell's now gonna call me and I'm gonna start traveling and be on a DVD and all this stuff's gonna happen. And they never called. Three months later, nothing. So I decided to take the iPad and I shot my first YouTube video because I didn't have a camera other than that. I filmed the first video, put it on a tripod, and then I voiced it over with a little microphone that you can get for your computer and I cut it up into a video. You can still see it 700 and some videos ago. It's terrible, but you can go watch it. And it now has, I think, three or four million views on YouTube. And the beauty of the internet is that this class that I'm, everything I'm saying today would go into your ears and it wouldn't go any further than that. But the way that you have to do things nowadays is I'm capturing it in every way possible so that I can share it again. And it can go on the internet and then six years later, still be getting thousands and thousands of views every day. My goal, my first thing I wanted to do was with these videos was get a free pair of scissors from some company. And I called every scissor company and I asked for free scissors and they all said no. And one company said yes. And they said, we'll send you a new pair every week. Just put it out on the internet. And I said, okay, cool. I had like a thousand subscribers. I loved the scissor when I used it, of course. Um, probably jaded a little bit from the, the initial experience of the whole thing. But so then I said to them, do you mind if I start selling these scissors on the internet? I'll put them in my videos, I'll build a website. So I learned to build a website, made a store, and started selling scissors. Four years after I started doing that, we were the number one distributor in the United States. If you want something, you all have the tools and they're in your hand. Always being in front of people's faces is the key to growth. None of you guys in here remember the last thing that you saw on Facebook. I guarantee it. None of you. And if you do remember the last thing you saw on Facebook, you weren't paying attention to me and you were just on Facebook. Right? But you don't remember because you're bombarded with so much information. So you're never posting too much. Make sure you're capturing everything. Put it on the internet and that's how you grow your business. Thank you guys. Enjoy the show. It was nice to see your faces.
All right, guys, so again, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. I hope if things aren't going exactly the way that you planned, uh, you now have a little bit different thought process on it. Just keep pushing forward, keep doing what you're doing, and success will follow. Uh, thank you guys so much for being subscribers of this channel. Let me know if I should do more videos like this. Thanks for watching.